Hey guys, John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're taking a look at the Greenback Impulse Response Pack by Repulse Audio. These Greenback IRs are geared towards the modern player. So in today's video, we're going to see how heavy we can get with these IRs with six, seven and eight string guitar tones. So let's start right away with the seven string tones using my ESP LT SC607B1H into my angle Savage 120 Mark II. Let's check it out. All right, that sounded pretty crunchy. So that was the guitar going into the Angle Savage 120 Mark II on the lead channel, and then into the Libra IR Loader plugin, which is my IR loader of choice for this video, by the way. And I'm using a mic blend that I created inside that plugin. And it's a blend between a 58 mic and a 121 mic to be precise. In terms of processing, I'm not doing anything aside from panning the guitar. So it was double tracked. So one is panned to the left side and the other to the right side. And I'm also cutting the lows at around 80 hertz or so to make room for the bass guitar and the kick drum. I'm not going to EQ the guitars in this video because I want to let you guys hear the pure and raw tone of these IRs, okay? So what are these IRs about? Well, for starters, Josiah, who is the man behind Repulse Audio, he asked me to make a video on this product. So you can consider this to be a sponsored video, but as always, all thoughts and opinions are 100% my own. Anyway, according to the Repulse Audio website, his products are about getting guitar tones without the BS. So I guess the products should be easy to use and you should get some great results with little effort. As of right now, the Greenback IR pack is the only pack that Repulse Audio offers, but maybe more packs will be added in the future. And it's priced at only $20, so that's quite a friendly price, I think. The pack features a total of 61 IRs as well as six presets. And those presets are basically mic blends, I assume. And of course, you also get various single mic options to create your own blends and stuff like that. The speaker used in this pack is a 1990s Greenback 6402 cone in a Marshall cabinet. Now, the website does not state the sample rate of these IR files. So perhaps this could be added in the future just to make clear in what sample rate these IRs come in. All right, so the description on the website for these IRs says, the Marshall Greenback combo has always been reserved for people who wanted to get tones of their favorite guitar heroes from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and has never really been known for being used by modern players. The Green Backpack is here to change that. With the ease of use and effortless mixing, it's easy to get modern, heavy crushing guitar tones without doing that much at all. Now, I consider myself to be a modern player. I like rock and metal, so these files should be right up my alley. So let's just have some fun with these files, okay? First, let's take a quick look at the feature set of this IR pack. So there's the IR folder with all the single mics and the preset folder. The preset folder contains some mic blends that should be pretty mix ready with various names such as clear, roar, and thick. And in the IR folder, you have eight mics to choose from, and each mic option has around seven to nine positions to choose from with various brightness and darkness options. 
Now, in my experience, not all of these IRs are going to work for everybody because there's a wide range of tones in here in terms of the balance. Some are quite dark, some are quite bright, some are a bit roomy sounding. So you are going to have to dive in and explore this pack a little bit to find the files that work well for you. But it's cool to see some tonal variation in there, definitely. All right, let's explore some more tones. We already did the seven string, so now let's go to the six string, which will be my Gibson Les Paul Custom through the Tonex plugin by IK Multimedia using a tone model from my Heavy Legends Volume 2 pack, which is available on ToneNet. And it's the ORV50 amplifier on the Dirty Channel, and it's one of the high gain settings. And the IR that I'm using here is the NOT preset, so that's K-N-O-T. Okay, let's take a listen, check it out. All right, that was another cool tone and definitely a unique flavor going on there. No post-processing was added to the guitars aside from a simple low cut again. And in that little intro section, I did add a bit of a lo-fi EQ effect to that single guitar, cutting off the low and high end to make it sound more small. So again, that was the not preset IR from the preset folder. Now let's try the eight string guitar tone using my ESP LTD SC608B, the Stefan Carpenter eight string guitar into Helix native by line six. And I'm not using the Badonk amplifier this time. This time I wanted to use something different. So I chose the Angle Meteor amplifier, which is based on the Fireball 100. And this time I'm using another preset IR, the Roar preset IR to be precise. Okay, let's take a listen. All right, another cool tone right there. So what are my thoughts on these IRs? Well, for 20 bucks, you really can't go wrong, especially if you enjoyed the tones in this video. 
since these tones were unprocessed. As I said, not every single IR in this pack will be to your liking, but I guess variety is the point here. And usually with any IR pack, you usually find some files that work for you and others that don't work for you. So just go in there, try some files and find the ones that work for you. Some of the files will work in the mix right away without effort and others might require a little bit of blending of the mics and maybe a little bit of EQ. Some improvements could be made with the naming of the files as the naming is a little bit inconsistent here and there. It's not a big deal, but it will make the overall pack look a little bit more tidy. And it would also be great if the sample rate could be disclosed and if there could be more sample rate options available in the future. But yeah, cool IRs, I had fun with them for sure. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found it useful. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe down below and also let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this IR pack. Of course, you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook and Instagram. All right, guys, thank you so much and I hope to see you soon. Cheers.